hello 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 everybody and welcome back to the new age geeks channel um my name is cc and tonight we have queer and present danger a high fantasy homebrew D, &D campaign with an all lgbtq plus cast just a friendly reminder here on the new age geeks channel we aim to create an all-inclusive space and make everybody feel welcome at our table and opening it up to the rest of the cast. How are we doing tonight, guys? Oh, good, good, good. Hands, that will lead us to you. Together. If you want to become one of the New Age Geeks, you can. Just join our Discord, subscribe to our Twitch and YouTube channels, where you'll find moderated chats, emotes by one of our favorite geeks, Sarah. Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah! And chat rooms with the casts and other members of our growing community. Remember, the best way to help us out with the algorithm is engagement. So watch the video all the way through, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that these platforms know to share us with everyone else. Beyond that, we have posts going up on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So if you're on those platforms, follow us there as well for more geeky goodness. If you are already paying for Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime absolutely free. That's something you have to go in and choose, which means if you didn't, you're wasting your money. You get a free one month subscription to the channel of your choosing. Every month you go in, you resubscribe to that channel, or you subscribe to a new one. But it's a small price to pay to not have to pay a price at all, because you're already paying for it. So you set on us. <laughs> if you find yourself in a charitable mood, you may subscribe on Twitch and on YouTube, gift subscriptions to others, cheer using bits, donate via PayPal, we have a merch shop with dozens of choices for you to buy things for yourself or your loved ones. Considering it's Valentine's Day this month, your loved ones may be on the forefront of your mind. New Age Geek, New Age Geeks has merch that you might want to gift. You never know. You should check it out. And we even have a Patreon for you to subscribe to. Lastly, if you wish to become a sponsor, please reach out to us directly via our Instagram page to begin those discussions. checking out the songcraft bot the songcraft bot allows you to play open source community selected music and soundscapes directly from your discord server what with only just a few clicks whether you're playing with friends or streaming on twitch you can use the audio stress free with their pro level subscription you get their playlist builder shareable playlist codes access to over 40 music genres and one over 20 soundscape types global genre selections and two premium discord servers all for just 10 bucks a month but using our referral link or our code n-a-g it will get you two dollars off of your subscription for the first three months all you need to do to get started is invite the songcraft bot to your server then just hit play and let songcraft take care of the rest without further ado, we can get into tonight's episode of Queer and Present Danger. Cool. So, if my memory serves me correctly, last session... Uh. Sorry. A rock falls, everyone dies. Um, yes! <laughs> Last session, you all managed to bring or like rescue Princess Anessa and bring her back to the your home realm back in Holden. <laughs> exactly. And you all decided to sneak her back into the castle where you reunited her with her parents. And then they welcomed you with 
a small feast, and that led to discussions of what was possibly going on and why she was kidnapped. After some discussion and a quick little thanks of the coin from the king and queen, you, I believe you all headed back to the Whispering Willow Inn, where you all rested for the evening. And so yeah. we now Um, I'm going to start the day as soon as I, like the sun hits me, um, just gonna wake up, pound some coffee, um, and, uh, pull out my spell book and just start working on it. Just experimenting, studying reviewing the spells I already know, kind of seeing where my mind can take me in terms of the future and just what I might glean from the weave as I study what I already know and practice some new things. Alrighty. I'm going to be uh, downstairs eating breakfast. It's a big heaping pile of like meat and potatoes on a plate and uh i'll try once again to ask for some coffee and i'm gonna try to lower my voice as much as possible Just... <clears throat> extra tall <clears throat> i would like some coffee please um you can see the server who is just a um, young human woman with her dark brown hair just tied up in sort of a messy bun um y yes uh, sh oh sure um, would you like any cream or sugar in your coffee I'll take six sugars please um you you got it is there anything else I can get for you Put it in a dirty glass. <laughs> she just sort of gives you an odd look. Um, oh, oh, okay. As she I'm sort of... tough and old. Okay, sure. And she walks away to go put together your interesting order Shira is always up pretty early starts her day with prayers every morning and I think the first thing after that that I would go do would be maybe go knock on Talia's door softly okay Talia you hear some soft knocking at your door <laughs> Uh, kind of like reluctantly, kind of hello. I guess Shira looks a little awkward standing there, but there's also like maybe a bit of concern to her features, and she's gonna kind of like shift in, kind of look at you and just say, I. I wanted to check in. I think you maybe some of the things being in and out of the castle seemed to affect you more than any of us. You really haven't had a moment to check in with anyone. I'm I'm fine. I are are you okay? I, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm like, do I need to insight check that? 
If you want to, you can. <laughs> yep. And then Talia, you can roll deception or persuasion. Whichever you think is more appropriate. It's not that great. Sorry. Oh, it's not bad. 19. It's a 24 on persuasion. God damn. She's good. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> She seems fine. I I just wanted to check maybe before we go back down and get swept up in the next bit of craziness. No, it, it's all good. I'm enjoying the adventure and it's just been a lot of things all at once and I need to recharge, but I had a good night's sleep. Good. I'm glad you're doing okay, then. I should probably go make sure they don't drink too much coffee at breakfast. I should probably get some food before we set out for our day. I will see you downstairs. And she'll go down and probably find Bloom with her giant cup of coffee. <laughs> yep. The server... Um... Brought you what doesn't seem to be a dirty mug of coffee, but she brings you the coffee with a little um, saucer of s six sugar cubes along with it. Ah, thank you. Delightful. Thank you. Did you put the sugar in the coffee or did you just sip the coffee? I wanted to try it first. I, I'm glad I asked for the sugar. Well, if you start with the sugar and then work your way down as you go, that's kind of what helps. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I taste the dirty glass. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Just put the the sugar cubes in the coffee and, and stir it and take way too long. Uh, just trying to work my way up to taking that second sip. I'm just going to... That's a lot better. Thank you. Thank you. It's delightful. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and if you ever feel like it, a great combination I've heard of is if you take a scoop of ice cream and stir it in with your coffee, it gives you the cream and the sugar all at once. You can, you can make a coffee flow? Exactly. I'll remember that for next time. Thank you. You got it. She gives you a little nod before she turns and walks away as Ashira and Talia have begun to make their way downstairs. Oh my god, a plate of food and maybe some strong tea. Sounds really, really good right now. Fruit and tea sound wonderful. The servant um, nods and goes to prep your orders. As you see Bloom sipping out of a uh, mug with a little bit of a disdain on her face. Do that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. Well, everything, everything, everything good? Oh yes, everything's great. Have you tried the coffee? 
I, I hear that the plant you just threw it into, I hear it helps plants grow, so... Mm. What can I say? I'm a giver. It looked a little thirsty. <laughs> that's, that's so nice of you, Bloom. <laughs> Yeah, co coffee's an awful strong flavor um, to start with. Can I suggest maybe like a fruit tea? Yeah, I just see Toby drinking it so much and I thought it might be delicious. Maybe I'll try tea next time or... um. The nice lady that brought it to me said she could put ice cream in it. Maybe I'll try it with ice cream next time. That sounds really good, actually. Mm. It does. And as far as Toby's concerned, turtles are, like, predisposed to liking coffee, so... <laughs> oh. And it's kind of acquired taste. I'm not a big fan of coffee myself. You're not? No, I drink it every once in a while, but uh, I much prefer tea. Bloom doesn't feel as bad now. <laughs> it gives me too much energy, and then that's a problem. Lightning and everything, you know? Oh. Uh, just creating storms out of nowhere. <laughs> it's only happened once. I'm sure people um, appreciate not having random thunderstorms happening. They're normally very isolated to me, so yeah. So as you are all discussing, Toby, what are you still doing there up in your room? Um... As you're talking about, you know, too much coffee and isolated <laughs> storms, you might possibly hear some sort of explosion come from above. <laughs> no. Coming from Toby's room. You can well, see that a few sounds of the, familiar. <laughs> can see a few of the uh, patrons flinch and... The server and the barkeep gets a little bit of a concerned look on their face as this loud sudden noise with slight vibrations <laughs> reverberate throughout the inn. Yeah, maybe I'll just I'll just go check on him. <laughs> Toby's awake. <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was Toby? Oh no. <laughs> It happens. <laughs> so apparently this isn't the first time. Honestly, I feel like it would not be the first time with Toby. <laughs> this is a familiar sound. <laughs> no, you know, we traveled together for a while and yeah, it's not uncommon <laughs> to have explosions first thing in the morning. I'm imagining in, like, uh, Super Mario Brothers, how, like, you step on the shell, and then you just, like, launch it, and it just goes like this across the floor. It's like Toby with too much coffee. Yes. <laughs> Except don't step on me. <laughs> um, so, uh, Stumbling down the stairs, covered in soot. Hi. You okay? I... Is the room okay? <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to glance at the, the person at the at the table who isn't with us, the server or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, or if they're at a, a desk, bar, whatever. 
Um, Currently attending another table. But they just look gonna at you glance at them. <laughs> yep, room's fine. Room, room, room is, room is, room is definitely not exploded. <laughs> she just sort of takes a heavy sigh as you hear a mutterance of shit. Put out the fires, don't worry. Plural? <laughs> oh no. They're about to be a child free establishment very soon. <laughs> also, why, to be fair, they gave a child their own room. So I feel like. I paid for it. I don't know, but they did. Well, the, the queen room paid room. for it. Yeah, but you're still a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, that's on them. There's a reason that there's age limits to serving rooms. Um, well, I I can't I can't do that spell yet. So, what were you trying to do? Don't worry about it. I'll show you when I figure it out. Fair enough. In the meantime, I can now hit people in the head from a distance. I I can do that too. Just throw a spoon at Toby's head. Just... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I meant psychically, not with oh. a spoon. Sorry. Ow. I think it would be funny to hit somebody with a spoon from a distance, though. I feel like, you know, Toby launches small objects quite effectively from a distance. Maybe we just get you some pocket spoons and... I... I... Start grabbing spoons off the table from people's oh, place no. settings. Is that what I meant? It's like pebble, but spoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, catapult requires things that are small and launchable. <laughs> are you trying to be so sneaky I'm... about this? No. No, I'm just picking up the spoons. And... I'll just hand a couple gold to the server while Toby's picking up spoons. I'm, just like, I'm sorry. Um, you can see just a heavy sigh. She looks over at the barkeep. As you can see, he is currently etching a new sign into a wooden plank. <laughs> no magic indoors. <laughs> no kids allowed. We'll be yeah. We'll be lucky if it doesn't say no kids allowed. <laughs> you must be this tall. No kids left unattended. <laughs> but Bloom, Bloom, you know how I do the thing with with the lightning and and I use it like oh yeah. Well, I I could do that psychically now too. Is that what you did in the room? That's one of the things, yeah. But that that was that the. There, there was a bunch of things. Um, a sport room? <laughs> yeah. Well, we can't be alone anymore in here, so we'll just have to hang out together. And then we can <laughs> attend each other. Yeah, and then and then you can teach me your spells, and I can teach you my spells, and then we could do so many spells. My room had a rat in it. You want to see it come back to life? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Run up to Bloom's room. <laughs> Luckily, the sign is not done being made yet. He's still in the process of tapping away at it. Um, Ashira and Talia, can you all answer me one question? Uh-huh. <laughs> Where is the bag of holding? Ooh, on my hip. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. I just couldn't remember what y'all did with it. That's suspicious. <laughs> That's, That's weird. Suspicious. <laughs> Insight check on the DM. <laughs> just gonna look at Talia and be like, I'm not 
sure at what point we're supposed to not let them do I, that. I don't know. I don't take care of kids. And they're so capable. Like, they'll be of fine. <laughs> I, I was gonna try and explain to them maybe don't get where people can hit you when Toby brought up the from a distance spell, but we'll just remember that note for later. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. They're okay, right? Sips tea. <laughs> I think they will be fine. I'm more scared for the inn. <laughs> Give him like five minutes. <laughs> okay. To eating breakfast. Yeah, finish my food and we'll, we'll get them. Okay. Um, Talia and Ashira, can I have y'all both roll uh, perception checks for me, please? Oh no. <laughs> oh, my dad's gone. 25. Perception's my jam. I got a 19. Um, so as you two are eating, just sort of a little bit concerned about what the two children have going on, you can hear a slight commotion start to arise in the back of the inn. You can hear like a, a small shouting match in between two people that seems to progressively be getting louder. You hear that? Yeah, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> Go take a look. I'll go take a look, yes. <laughs> Honestly, that is so valid. She's not even mad at it. She's just, and I just kind of. <laughs> I'll stay in this part of the, like, I'll stay in this room, but I'm not going to let you go too far by yourself. I'll just stay out of sight. You can go on ahead. I'm not going to go back into the back room, but yeah. I'm get closer so I can hear better. I know, I'm going to stay in this room, but, like, not on this side of the room. Okay. So you're both kind of just like trying to get like near like the door back where the commotion is going on. I'm not going as far as Talia is. Okay. Well, luckily, because you guys both rolled an insanely high perception, um, you two can hear the voice of the server sort of shouting. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? You said you would have the money. You owed me. It has been months. I've been working my ass off and you said you would get the money. And then you can hear a male voice. Um, no, I, I promised. I, I had the money. It, it's gone. Somebody stole it. I promise I'm trying to do better here. And the shouting match just sort of continues and the waitress speaks up again saying that is it you are not seeing them again you've been such a deadbeat and I thought you changed <laughs> and you can hear this <laughs> You can hear this man just start to, like, choke up a bit. He's like, I promised I was trying to do better. And the server once again screams, just get out. Get out. And you can hear footsteps quickly approaching the door. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I sit down at the bar real quick. Is there lean against it nonchalantly? <laughs> Okay. And you see this man just storming out of the bar. 
um, looking disheveled with like heavy bags under his eyes Ooh. as he just sort of is sort of struggling to You have seen him within the past few days. Outside of the inn. I know. We stole from. I wasn't with you. <laughs> oh, Just... golly gee willikers, guys. Oh, oh, I'm so... Aren't you glad the children aren't here? For this, you're kind of happy the children aren't there. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Good hope. Oh, just be like, oh. Oh. What's wrong? What's going on? We're the reason he can't see his kids anymore. <laughs> Correction. <laughs> you're the reason. <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> you can see he sort of slows down as he walks out into the bar, just sort of looking about at the um the crowd that is now sort of turned to look at him. And a small look of shame comes across his face. Oh, I was completely disguised when I talked to him too. <laughs> what, what do you mean you were disguised? Um, the, 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 just, the player brain. I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, what? No. <laughs> um, so, I'm just going to kind of like very, very uh, slyly, like, fuck. you okay, buddy? Just, um, hit a bit of a rough patch, if you will. We've all been there. Anything that, uh, an adventurer might help, be able to help with? I mean, unless you can locate my missing bag. <laughs> I don't think you can. You lost a bag? Yes. I did. Did this have important things in it? It had a lot of money. It had the items I was selling to make money. Just, um, yeah. Well, if it was just money that you're after, maybe we can find you in some work to make that up. I mean, to be fair, Fair, I had a job, but seeing as that I went missing with some of the inventory, they didn't take that all too well. Understandable. What kind of skill sets do you have? I am um, great at brewing. I'm trying to become an amazing alchemist. Alchemy is hard. Yeah, it's very hard. That's a big skill. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you may have uh, experience with? Not, uh, not much, according to, uh, <clears throat> not much else at the moment. 
Uh, question for you, Talia. Are you trying to hide the bag of holding? Well, it's like on the back of my thing in my skirts. So it's like hidden in and of itself. I would have tried to hide it in order to not get it stolen, um, but not like actively trying to hide it. But I do kind of like shift my weight. So I make sure that it's kind of like absolutely in my skirts. Okay. He just takes another heavy sigh. It's like, I, I mean, I can cast some magic, maybe. Maybe I just need to look around the city a little more, see if I can find it that way. There's... How can I put this? My friends and I are working with the crown. Really? Yeah. Um, and we need some assistance with making sure that our space here at the inn remains secure and um, tidy, if you know what I mean. Are you asking me to housekeep? Mm, more like doorman, making sure nobody enters our rooms while we're gone and messes with our things. Go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. <clears throat> Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 19 on the die um my persuasion is a plus six hell yeah so that would be a 15 plus whatever the guidance was did you uh, say D4. nine or 19 sorry 25 plus yeah yeah and then Roll the d4, d4. yeah We'll send it. I was going to say, 19 plus 6 should not be less than 19. <laughs> I'm bad at math, remember? <laughs> We're it's queer, okay. it's okay. <laughs> so okay, that would be math. 24, and then it was a 2 on the d4. So, uh, 25, 25 plus 2 is 27. 27. <laughs> well, if... Um... greatly appreciate that offer and I, I would love to take it I just don't know how the staff here I don't know how they would react to my presence but it's I can I can certainly try and you can sort of see little tears beginning to well up in his eyes <laughs> I can pay. Can I do like a check to see what I think they would normally get paid for something like that? Uh, sure. Uh, I'd say just roll general intelligence. Uh, 14. Um, I, you would probably piece together that it would probably be like a silver a day. I will pay you five silver a day to watch our things, to, to be our doorman would be astounding. That'd be great. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, my name is Henry, by the way. Hi, Henry. Uh, Talia. Henry Goldtrick. Yeah, pleasure Please to meet you. And 
if we can talk and make sure that it's okay with the rest of the staff, then we'll make sure that we have our things secure here. Okay. Um, it might be best if I wait up, wait outside. Just need to get a breath of fresh air, if you will. Sounds good. And with that, we will cut over to Bloom <laughs> and Toby. Did you actually resurrect the rat? You're muted. I forgot. My bad. Do we actually? It wouldn't be like a full resurrection. It would probably just be like making all the rat bones like lift up and like squeak a couple of times and then like bleh, <laughs> lay back down oh! again. <laughs> absolutely i would say that is possible all right cool that's so cool and that's how you make the dead things dance that's so amazing we gotta get you like a whole bunch of bones to do this on a whole bunch of rats or even it on a bigger scale like cats okay but i don't i don't actually that's gonna be really difficult to find all those bones and then collect them like that you know it's, i yeah. just i just do it if i come across things okay um, that makes sense Maybe, maybe if we find a couple of dead rats together, we can have a tea party with them. That's what yeah. I used to do. We can, we can save the rats in in the bag that that you guys got from that guy. That's true, but hmm. well, I guess they don't need air if they're already dead, so that's good. Do you two want to give me a perception roll at disadvantage? Let's go. Uh, sure. Let me see. <laughs> I don't hear. <laughs> I hear everything. <laughs> um, that's a a dirty twenty and a nineteen. So the nineteen. Eight. Yeah, Toby, you are too entertained to hear the commotion that was going on downstairs. Bloom? So Bloom hears it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't make out every word, but you can still hear, like, bouts of shouting from downstairs. Hmm. Yeah, Bloom is just business as usual. She's just playing with the rat and just... Hmm. So anyway, we can maybe have these rat tea parties if we can find enough of them. Do you think... Do you think Talia will let us put rats inside that bag? I don't see why not. I mean, it's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's a commotion going on down there, so I think we have time for you to teach me a spell now. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's 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 one of the ones I learned is how to um so I can turn my whole body into mist. Wow. And then a re conglomerate my whole body a, a, a ways away as long as I can see it that's cool can you can you go downstairs and then back up again well that would that would take a lot more energy but I could probably run back upstairs okay I cast misty step okay um, are you misty stepping too I'm gonna poke my head out of the door um, because I have to see where I'm going. Uh, and I'm going to misty step to like the bottom of the stairs if I can. Yeah. Or somewhere downstairs. Just. 
You do so. And then with my movement, run right back up. Yeah, as you teleport downstairs, you can see the previous owner of the bag um, slowly starting to approach the door before you start running back. And he just makes a quick glance at you. Anyway, that's how you do it. It's just like that. And it's it's technically a conjuration spell, but like the thing you're conjuring is you. Wait, so so is Toby back in the room and the guy is also outside the door? No, he's he's leaving no. the building. He saw Toby. Down. He saw up me here downstairs. Oh, okay. and then I ran up. He clocked Toby, and Toby then ran back upstairs. Gotcha. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I I could show you my notes on how I how I I did this, and it'll probably take you like an hour or three or four, but like. You could definitely figure this out. I know you're smart enough. Yeah, maybe during lunch, um, I can I can look at your notes. Um, maybe, but we should bring this rat down to Talia and see if she'll let us keep it in in the bag. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's run downstairs. Okay. You all regroup once more. That's a rat. <laughs> I made it dance. Can you put this what? in the bag? Can I keep it? I'm not putting that in my bag. Hey. What? I... Why did you make the bat dance? <laughs> Just to Does see it go? dance. It wasn't going to do anything with its body anymore, right? Yeah, it was done with it. I mean, true. Um, maybe you could take it outside to that outside stage area, and maybe you could make it dance um, for other people to enjoy. Yeah, but what if we come across more, and then we can make a whole bunch of them dance? We gotta see. I might need to so practice a little for. more. Yeah, I might need to practice a little for that one. But that's well, we okay. Should. Um, we might come across more later on anyway. So I'll just go thank this one for letting me use his bones, and um, he can probably get going on finding Rory, I guess. All right, that, we gotta. Do that, that sounds like a really good idea. Maybe um, if you go outside to the garden might be a really nice place to um put it and thank it for your entertainment that's a good idea then it could feed the flowers all right yeah bloom's gonna do that mm -hmm. she's gonna go outside and and she's gonna sit there and and have wither right next to her and she'll just say thank you mr rat I will remember you forever, and that dance was really beautiful. I hope you have fun um, in whatever afterlife rats have with the god of your choosing. And she would got put it in the flower bed in the middle of, like, what she deems the prettiest flowers. Yeah, And I really hope the bugs don't eat you. <laughs> you set the bones down in front of a beautiful like peony bush with flowers of almost every color and bloom you hear a small voice inside of your head <laughs> throw a rock Bro throw a rock what throw a rock Turn away from the building and throw a rock. Okay. 
she's huh? going to pick up a rock and throw it away from her. You throw the rock. Why'd you do that? I don't, I don't know. You throw the rock and it lands against the side of a carriage. And you notice that that's an that sudden loud noise startles a horse that is dragging or pulling along said carriage and it starts to break into a full sprint. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. You really scared that horse. I didn't mean to. We're gonna fix this though. We're gonna fix this. Um... Can I can I try to do like an animal handling check to calm the horse down? Uh, you can or, try, but it's currently full sprinting down the road. I cast sleep on the horse. <laughs> Damn it! Now I gotta pull up a horse. Stop block! <laughs> oh no! She's, she's gonna stop and just <laughs> listen. I'm worried. <laughs> I mean, it's fantasy physics. The cart will just stop with the horse when it falls asleep. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and roll for sleep. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh... hey, wait, I'm trying to... Wait, do I actually... Do I roll for that? Well, because you have to roll a certain number of die. I'm like, and then that where the heck is with the... The... If you expand the spell by clicking on the... Yeah, I'm looking... Uh... So roll 5d8, and the total is how many hit points of creatures this spell can affect. There it is. Okay, sorry. Um... Roll high. It's a horse. <laughs> and... Roll really high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's uh, six plus one, seven, plus five, plus five, 17, plus six. Okay. 23. You cast this spell out of your hands as you attempt to calm this creature. You see can it. I can I retcon it to to a level two so I can get two additional d8s or or no? Well, the horse only has like thirteen hit points. Oh, okay. I, I was scared it was going in the other direction. Never mind. Never mind. Um, as the horse is trampling away, you see it start to slow down and it falls asleep. But at the momentum it's going, it topples over, sending this cart rolling. <laughs> oh god. Knocking a torch off of a post. <laughs> Ow! Just outside of a temple. No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, wow. mm, can I use mage hand? Was that six seconds later? Probably not. Are we all out there? Do we all see this? As far as I'm I gonna... know, it's just uh, Bloom just and Toby you two, outside. Yeah. Can I try to cast mage hand to, ca to catch the torch? <laughs> um, Will it have been six seconds? No, I would say probably not. Okay. But All you right. notice the torch fall and start to catch on tapestries outside of this. <laughs> and if either of you would like to roll me a religion check. <laughs> I'm rolling so good today. The cleric is stressed. <laughs> Fine. Seven. <laughs> Bloom, did you roll a religion check? If you want to. Oh, 
Okay, it's for the temple. Yeah. Please, please, uh, that's a 24. <laughs> um, you recognize the symbols on the outside of the temple as the symbols of Sopera, the okay. goddess of the wisdom. Goddess of wisdom and the past. Oh, gotcha. Wow, that fire is going really fast. I'm gonna immediately sprint over to the temple. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna run <laughs> back inside. I'm gonna say, hey, you guys, uh, we were burying the rat, and now the temple's on fire. You should probably come. <laughs> what do you, what do you, how? <laughs> I'll dart out after Toby. <laughs> I'll bloom through a rock. Bloom's just bawling. <laughs> Oh god! I didn't mean it like this. I didn't want friends this way. Um, um, can I create water? <laughs> do you have it prepped? I do. Can I make it rain in a thirty-foot cube, <laughs> extinguishing exposed flames in the area? <laughs> <laughs> I will also use uh, shape water to assist that uh, create water uh, so that the water she creates I will guide it yeah. uh, where it needs to go a cloud just kind of forms right over head and starts raining yeah um, with this quick spell work you guys are able to yeah. Extinguish the flames on the outside of the temple. Uh, hang on a minute. The way you say that makes me very concerned. Are there also flames on the inside of the temple? <laughs> roll me perception. Uh, can everyone there roll a perception? You can also please. roll a perception. <laughs> Someone no, else please no. also roll. Uh, 12. 10. <laughs> Doing so good today, you guys. I'm, I'm very just concerned with making it rain right now. <laughs> it's how I cast it, actually. How'd you know? <laughs> Toby, you can just see a a a Toby, you can just see a little bit of smoke with inside the temple, but it's hard to distinguish mm -hmm. if that's from a separate flame or the smoke that has been blown in by a small gust of wind. I just want to check something real quick, and I'm going to go open the door to the temple. Uh. <laughs> you can see there are little s flames starting to flicker about. Hey, your temple's on fire! And I'm going to try and put out the fire with more shape water. Just moving the water that's already existent. I'm just kind of guiding it over to the small flames. And I can cast it again inside and just make it rain in the building too. <laughs> As one does. As you do. <laughs> just soak everything. It's fine. Is that mm -hmm. what you're doing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. A yes. soaking wet temple is exactly <laughs> what you need right now. But it's better than on fire. <laughs> As this whirlwind of rain and smoke is within this temple, you can see people sort of starting to like shriek out of panic, then more out of like fear as they are drenched. <laughs> as you look around the inside of this temple, you can see now soaking wet parchments. You can see a few items that have. <laughs> That are just lightly smoldering. And this is why I was talking to D about getting books that don't get damaged when it gets wet. It's really important. <clears throat> and you can see just a few items that were completely destroyed. Uh, but mm -hmm. as everyone as few people have run out of the temple. One of the high priestesses 
is just sort of stood at the altar, <laughs> wrenched, staring at the entrance. <laughs> we did it! We saved you! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry. That was an accident. Um... I should, I should leave. Um, very happy to see that everyone's okay. Thank you for extinguishing the flames. It is. You're welcome. I'm so sorry. It was, it was more than I thought it would be. Seems <laughs> to uh... be. While it is valid that you have panicked, it did seem abnormal about how quickly those flames caught on. Yeah, that was really weird. That was just one torch, and, and it just <clears throat> completely just... Wow. Um, it, I don't know, but uh, maybe reconsider where you uh, store your books. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is probably not the right time. Gonna go check on the horse now. What happened? What happened with the horse? He's just asleep. I just I thought I was helping because the the horse was really scared, so I tried to put him asleep. But then, but then the torch went flying. Um. So now that the temple's okay, I'm just gonna just gonna wake up the horse very very gently and slowly. I think that's a good idea. Horses can be cranky. Yeah. Well, again, I appreciate the assistance, <laughs> but please do try to control yourselves. Sorry. Try not to get set on fire next time. <laughs> what? Not the place. <laughs> we helped them. Why is she being mean to us? I don't because understand. Because we did damage while we helped. On that note, like, is there like a like offering bowl where people like coming in and out could yes. like? Yes. Like, there is one cool. by the by the entrance, and then there's one also on the center altar. Just like, scoot. Toby towards the door <laughs> and like throw like I don't know 15 gold in it damn <laughs> oh. Oh. that's a lot of money <laughs> I just drenched their entire temple <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah so oh, no. we we like as I'm being shoved out of the the temple, like I don't understand why we're being scolded for helping. If we didn't soak everything, it would have been caught on fire and it'd be even worse. Well not necessarily I cast before I really thought it through. I didn't control where I was making water. <laughs> So, um, you can see the high priestess sort of <laughs> follows you out, um, and Bloom just gives you a, a sort of a softened look. Please do be careful with the decisions you make. Yeah. Maybe sleep wasn't the best. Um, I could have, could have maybe chosen better. I think, I think I was just really panicked. Um, I'm sorry. So is the horse. Uh, 
<laughs> she just sort of uh, cocks her head. Be aware that actions do have consequences. I mean, however, I... <laughs> also be wary of who you listen to. I mean, I could have done something, but then the horse would be dead instead of a. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh, what? Toby terrifies me sometimes. <laughs> Toby can and will commit war crimes. <laughs> I'm just accepting yeah, the oh. fact that I can never stay in character. <laughs> You're <laughs> telling me. Out in Toby's mouth. Um. Oh, all, all my spells are like ice knife, magic missile, witch bolt, catapult. <laughs> uh, rhymes binding. Oh, the binding ice may have trapped them, but it'd still be dead because that does a lot of damage too. But like. The mind whip thing I just learned how to do. Yeah, he'd, he'd just be a dead horse instead of a sleepy horse. And I think ultimately, even though bad stuff happened, it's still the best way we could have dealt with it given the circumstances. Bloom, Bloom's just going to look at her and say... I, I understand. I'm sorry again. Um, I'll I'll remember that next time. It was just a, a rock. I, I'm sorry. understand that you are truly sorry and I accept your apology but we can learn from everything around us to help prevent similar mistakes happening again in the future yes ma'am She just gives you a small nod, looks over at Ashira with another small nod, and then just looks at Toby. <laughs> no nod for this you. This fucking bitch. Give <laughs> me a leash. <laughs> My new D and D magic item: a leash for children. Turtle, <laughs> turtle tamer. <laughs> No, the turtle chain. <laughs> um. Toby just runs around like a chain chomp. He is a snapping turtle. <laughs> I am not a snapping turtle. That was one. You will time. be if you're put on a leash. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, what is Talia up to in this moment? I was waiting for the... Uh, Tackling in the corner. <laughs> I was waiting for the bartender to come back out, the waitress to come back out so I could talk uh, <laughs> Yeah, she does. <laughs> um, it's okay. Talia's out here actually playing d d the smart way. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep my bag, okay? <laughs> um, after you see uh, Toby and Ashira dart out of the inn, you can see the server coming back, just sort of like a little bit like red and splotchy in the face as she's just sort of wiping underneath her eyes. As she comes back up to the bar. Hey, you, you good? Uh, 
yeah, you know, um, just a lot going on at the moment. Yeah, I heard a bit from the uh, gentleman that blew past me. Oh, God. You know, he seems a little down on his luck. I gave him so many chances. Have you ever just given somebody a second chance and or third or fourth or fifth and nothing changes? Um, I, yeah, I try to see the best in people. Yeah, sorry that um, got so loud. I seriously just high strung emotions. It seemed like he needed a job, uh, and yeah. Yeah. I offered that if, uh, he said that you might not go for it, but, uh, if it's okay with you to kind of be a doorman for our, uh, room, one of our rooms for the the next week or two um, to make sure that things stay secure and safe. I mean, is he going to keep those kids in check? I mean, it would be well, <laughs> it would be while we were out. Okay. I'm just too scared to ask how bad the damage is because repairs are not cheap. Don't worry, we'll take care of any repairs that might need to be done. Thank you. I just... I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to be dumping all of this on you, it's just... Stress... stress... stressful times. No, I understand. It's totally fine. Why don't you grab a cup of tea? Tell me about it. You know, um, she sort of looks over her shoulder at the other barkeep, who's this, um, like, taller half-orc gentleman. Hey, uh, Marty, I'm taking my 15. And he just sighs and sort of waves her away. as she goes to brew some fresh tea for you both. And you know, me thinking you're actually going to stick Gormrog in the game. Who knows? It's a half-orc at a establishment where food is served. It's hard coming up with NPCs, okay? <laughs> but, um... She goes off, makes some tea, brings out a few uh, scones and biscuits, and you two begin to sit down and chat. And I feel like this is a good place to take our break. So we will be back in about 10 minutes, give or take. So we hope you stick around, and we will see you all after the break. Bye! <laughs>
And we're back <laughs> as the three that were outside are now wandering back into the inn. We're checking on the horse. <laughs> oh, you're checking on the horse. My bad. <laughs> I, yeah, recon. I tried to wake the horse back up. <laughs> um, I was very far away from it when that happened. So... Yeah, go ahead and make an animal handling check. Guidance. <laughs> Everyone's very concerned about the horse. As okay. They should be. Okay. Um so that's um a nineteen. I I I guess I could use the guidance for extra umph. Um yeah, so that's... I, I got the full 4 out of that D4, so that's a 23. Yeah. As you kneel down next to the horse and start sort of petting it and in a way the sort of dispelling the spell you had cast, it slowly sort of starts to wake up and just sort of um, sit, sits up in a way just sort of looking around, a little confused. Hi, horsey. Um, sorry about that. Um, hope you're okay. I'll, I'll just, you know what? I should probably leave you alone now. You're all good, right? Okay. Bye, Mr. Percy. Okay, yeah. You know what? I get that. I get it. Um, bye. Just confirming. It was an empty cart, right? Like, we didn't just <laughs> launch people <laughs> down the um, road. There was only the, um, what is it called? The person, like, guiding the horse. Oh. But... The carriage driver. Yes, the, I was going to say conductor, but that didn't sound right. Um, the carriage driver. And there was a few items that had gotten flung out of the back of the cart. And a crate of fruit that had toppled. And is just sort of sprawled in the streets. Can I give uh, the horse one of the apples from the, the fruit thing? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start help pick up all the fruit and put it back in the basket or box or crate or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, the horse gently starts to eat the apple and Toby, as you're starting to gather the fruits, you can notice a few of them are not like your typical fruits. <laughs> You gaze upon them and you can see a uh, orange that seems to glimmer with the sunlight reflecting off of it. Um, excuse me, Mr. Um, Mr. Person, sir. Uh, yeah, what's up? As he sort of like started stretching out, dusting himself off. Uh, one, I'm sorry about your food all over the place. Two, I don't think you're supposed to eat this. It looks like a crystal, not like a uh, food. It's, um, well, it is completely edible. Uh, it's, it just looks pretty. That sounds like a trick. That my brother would play on me. And I don't I don't know that that's true. Would Are you, you tricking me? I am absolutely not. <laughs> would you like to try it? Yes. Well, feel free to have a slice. And, you know, for helping me clean up, it's... 
why don't you just keep it? Seems like the least I can do. Thanks. It's just an orange. Well, a fancy orange, but can grow more. I'm going to try a slice. Okay. Roll me a d100. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 30 and 0. So a flat 30? Mm-hmm. Uh, do me a favor and roll me another d100, my friend. Oh, no. Oh, yes. What happened? Uh, 10 and 5. Oh, you 15. had two slices? Or no, you said another d100. Oh, so if you got a 15? 15, yeah. Okay, give me one second, please. Ten on the tens die, five on the ones die. Cool. I just can't read, apparently. It's fine. This today is Wednesday. You cast hold person on a creature within 20 feet. If you choose no creature, you cast it on yourself. <laughs> you gonna cast it on? <laughs> or if you don't pick someone. <clears throat> Where's the horse? <laughs> um, the horse is not a humanoid. Okay. Well, I know so what's happening. Okay, you said a creature, and I got worried. But yeah, you're right. Hang on. Person. Do I do I know that this is happening, and that I need to select a target for this? That's a good question. Or does it just happen? It just says you cast hold person on a creature within 20 feet. You have your two allies within 20 feet. You have the carriage rider. And then a... Just a Horse. halfling walking down the street all within 20 feet of you. If I don't know that I'm casting this spell, I would not target anybody. I would say you're not necessarily aware. Then I guess I cast hold person on myself. And you are suddenly still You'll be... I want to try one. I want to try one. What does it taste like, Toby? Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna. Toby, I'm gonna eat a slice. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll me a d100. <laughs> I'm Stab not even gonna the... notice. <laughs> Stab him on the head. Wait, Toby? that's. Uh, whoops, sorry. And if there I remember go. correctly, this spell lasts for up to one minute. <clears throat> That's a 95. Um, well, as you are currently at full health, you can just sort of feel this healing magic sort of glance off of you. Whoa! Bloom, are you okay? Oh, I feel really great. Uh, can I have another one? I have another one. Roll me another D100. <laughs> this is Tell the me. best orange I've ever eaten. The flavor is impeccable. The juiciest orange with just like a little bit of... um. It's hard to say, but like this divine flavor just like floats across your senses uh, 72 that same healing energy again like glances off of you can I buy some of these off you mister um sure we only have a few in stock but oh dear um
It's... Oh. Okay. As he's just sort of looking at Toby. I'm but still just like... Oh, he has been really After quiet. a minute, Toby, you regain uh, 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 Toby? Toby, what? Are you okay? No, no, no. I couldn't move. I couldn't talk. I couldn't do anything. I was just stuck because I ate the stupid fruit and I'm gonna like throw it on the ground and just I don't want it anymore. Bloom can have it since she liked it so much. Oh. It made me feel great. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> um, if you would like to buy some, it's two silver per orange. Why would I want that? I want it. <laughs> oh. Let me see. I I, I'm pretty this. sure. It's <laughs> dumb. Yes, it is very dumb. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll also take one of the slices and try it. Roll me a D100, my friend. <laughs> How many of the oranges are there? Eight. Not answering it, sorry. <laughs> well, that's funny because I was literally going to say there are eight oranges. Okay, I'll give not him 16 including silver. The, not including the one that you guys are eating. but 18 it. silver. Um, Ashira, you rolled an eight. Yeah. Roll me another D100. Sixty-five. Oh my god. Oh goodness. <laughs> goodness gracious. Please turn me into a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> you said sixty-five? Yeah. Give me a second. This document is hard to read. <laughs> What did you roll for your second percentile, Dom? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, <laughs> Ashira, you are surrounded by a faint ethereal music for the next minute. It's just the camp song from Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Make it freeze did and you get <laughs> yummy deliciousness and you get a theme song this is bogus i don't <laughs> the hell did you put in these fruits mister i'm sorry sorry what? for cursing <laughs> just looking around not paying any attention these are rare fruits that we have collected from the enchanted forest outside of aramore Enchanted forest has rare fruits, and you, you're just picking them for free and then selling them for a profit and then tricking little kids into being frozen for a minute. Well, they don't all have, the, they don't have the same effect every time. I'm gonna try another one. Please get you know home the again. <laughs> uh, Bloom, you can, um, I should be able to share it, but you can add eight sparkling oranges to your inventory. Yes. 72? You feel a calm, healing energy just sort of wash over you. As you are at full HP, there is no other effects. This is very suspicious, but I accept that it is different this time. <laughs> Further scientific research is called for without you. We should give some to Talia to try. That's a Good day, great sir. idea. <laughs> stomp off. 
without any fruit. Just back to the place yeah. where Talia is. Well, and if you're ever looking for more uh, mystical items, make sure to check out my shop. Uh, just a little more ways down the road. No. Are you hiring, perchance? I mean, we're always accepting applications. And you didn't, like, recently fire a gentleman? <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> um. No. Oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for the oranges, mister. Welcome. As you mumble your way in to the inn, you can see Talia sitting down at a table as the waitress from before is bringing over a spot of tea with some scones and biscuits. I'm gonna run up with the oranges. Talia, Talia, try this. Try this out. Try one of these. They're really yummy. I know it, it looks um like you shouldn't eat it, but they are so edible. It's <laughs> the sketchiest way to phrase that. Perception. <laughs> Did you just say perception? Yeah. I mean, it is an orange that appears to be made out of gems with a few slices missing out of it. Um, are you sure that's edible? No. <laughs> don't listen to him. He, he just got a bad slice or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but look, listen, listen. Shira has theme music now. I think I'm the only one who hears it, and I don't know that I don't. Um, uh, I will say, um, <laughs> the three, like, the four of you can hear it. It is just very faint. It, everyone can hear? Okay. It's just, like, it within, just a, me. within a small radius. Disadvantage on all stealth checks. Yeah. We Double already have that. <laughs> Double disadvantage. Not super disadvantage, no. Automatic fail. Yeah, just the clanking of the armor and the music. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, maybe a little bit later. I would love to try a piece a little bit later. Okay, I'll save it for you. <clears throat> um, well, okay. welcome back. Uh, the the server states as you all rejoin at the table. I just kind of like look around. Hi. <laughs> oh no, I didn't write the shop name down. <laughs> to be fair, he didn't give you a a shop name. Unless you're talking about the inn. He just said it was his down magic the road. shop down the road. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, yeah, are those scones? I'm trying to have a conversation, Toby. Oh, she's here. I <laughs> I completely missed Can that. I break off half of a scone? And just kind of <laughs> backhand it to Toby. I mean, I, I'm more than willing to share. We have plenty. But as I was saying, I, I again, I truly thought he was doing better, but he hasn't been around the past couple of weeks and you know I need the money I need to 
pay for these kids' schooling. You got kids? Three. Um, what are their ages? Thirteen, eight, and six. Sounds like a handful. Multiple handfuls. I assume the money problems were him paying you. Yep. Well, if we ask him to watch over our rooms for the next couple of weeks, which are already paid for by the Crown, just to make sure that nobody gets into them. What would you say if instead of giving him all of the money directly and trusting him to give it to you, we gave you half right off the bat? I like that idea. I really do. And that way he can get back on his feet and you get the money that you need. Yeah, I mean, it, it was very kind of you to offer him that. How much money do you need? For the kid's schooling? Yeah, I guess. Um, Sorry, hi, I'm Toby. Toby, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I'm Delilah. I definitely didn't destroy the room upstairs, Delilah. Anyway, how much money did you need? Um, gosh, for all three of them. Oh, goodness. Like 30 gold for the entire school year? Each or total? Uh, total. I have that. You could have it. Well, that is very, very kind of you. I, the the kids are kind of into um, magic and such. and Oh yeah, that's how I learn. And I just want them to succeed, you know. Yeah, and I'm going to pull out 33 gold and just hand it to her. I was homeschooled and I turned out just fine. I, I tried the whole homeschooling bit. It's a lot. I mean, it you should start with... When you have great teachers to teach you the things to help you succeed in life. But we definitely... Uh, we probably owe you 30 gold at this point with all of the... Damn, I mean... Uh, um, hotel room. Redecorating? Yeah, we, we, yeah. I hope they enjoy school. Yes, um, six-year-olds not, uh, six and eight-year-olds are not really fans, but the 13-year-old is finally getting into bigger things, uh, big girl classes, you know. Yeah. Catapult. Well, we were, uh, or I was going to pay him about three gold a week. So, um, for the next couple of weeks while we tra travel, half of that is yours. And the other half, get him on his feet. Thank you very much. And at this point, um, I would say it's reaching noon-ish, like around lunchtime, and more patrons start to fill in to the inn, grabbing lunch, and it starts to get a little bit crowded. 
um, as Delilah perks up and, well, I gotta get back to work. I've, I feel like I've been talking for ages. You're good. Get back to your job. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, I'm just going to lay a gold down on the, on the bar, pay for everything and tip and all the things and turn to the party. Well, um, should we go check in? Which what? <laughs> the royal family to see what we were supposed to do next. All oh, right, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's still people missing. <laughs> so. Oh, that's not good. Mm -mm. We should save them. Yeah. Yeah. How many fingers did Delilah have? Ten. What about you? Not me. I was asking uh, Talia and Ashira. How many fingers did the, the normal um, <laughs> the normal amount? I think she had the normal amount of fingers. I wasn't well, looking directly at her hands. Because I was, I was not talking to Bloom, but like talking to Bloom. And when she said that I have three kids and it's multiple handfuls. And... <laughs> three is a lot less than I have on my two hands. And multiple handfuls would be like three handfuls. And that's 15. And that that's way more than three. How long have you had that in the <laughs> chamber? <laughs> 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 I wow, honestly thought I you were going that. like <laughs> doppelganger root, not. Uh, <laughs> do you just want to sound off what, where we thought he was going with all of this before the reveal, or do we want to just pretend it never happened and ignore him for the rest of the session? <laughs> I mean, that's how everybody else deals with me. So you would not be wrong to do so. <laughs> oh my god. Can we can we have him eat another orange? <laughs> can we, can just shove a whole one of, right in. First feed of an orange. <laughs> an entire whole one. <laughs> no. No. Uh open wide. <laughs> Here comes the choo choo train. Disclaimer, we only support consensual fruit feeding. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Out of context quotes. Hey, somebody contact Jim. <laughs> Tell him we got ideas for the merch shop. <laughs> A rock fall, everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to derail the entire campaign with a question about fingers. That had to check on me. <laughs> to live in Toby's mind for just an hour would be so nice. Yes, no. No. You would not get anything done. <laughs> um. So what, what were you doing? The queen and king and Nessa. Yes. You all begin to make your way to the castle. Yes, making your way to the castle. Sorry, I got distracted by a cat. He came to check on me. <laughs> she, she heard me like reacting to the joke and she came up like, Are you okay? You okay? She had a heckin' concern. She did. So we're making concern. our way. 
Yep. Downtown? Uh, Walking fast, fast, I'm sure. <laughs> Faces past and castle and homebound. Um, as you begin to approach the steps, you can see just a standard posting of guards outside of the castle. Um, these ones at this point have recognized your faces and open the doors for you as you enter. <clears throat> and you can see within the same dazzling display of royal amen amenities and um, <clears throat> excuse me and you can see um, Anessa up at the top of this winding staircase oh um, hello you're back Yes. We were checking back in, I think, like we had discussed before. Um, there's still people missing. Right, of course. Um, did you need me to grab my parents for this, or...? It might be, um... Beneficial, unless you have the authority to uh, help us on what our next move should be. Of course. Um, well, the parents are a little bit busy at the moment, so um, just get me for now. And uh, here, let me show you all to the <coughs> meeting room. Too busy to find your advisor? Well, they still have a kingdom to run. Okay. Well, obviously, Rory is very important, but unfortunately, the state of the kingdom is more important than one missing person. Can you it's really understand? I. Obviously, I want to do everything I can to find Rory, but it it's it's difficult. So let's 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 uh, sit down and uh, discuss. It's really hoping to share what would jump in with an insight check, but okay. <laughs> Do you I'm want to roll an insight check? I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Fingers. You want to check her hands for how many fingers she has? <laughs> Been rolling like crap all game. I <laughs> am saving my insight check for when someone is truly suspicious. I'll do my insight check because <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here thinking like your parents dropped everything when you were missing, but yeah, but she's a princess. She was like, that this part. checks out. <laughs> so it makes sense that, like, Talia might be like, yeah, that tracks. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll do an insight check because, okay, I think, yeah, I want to I wanna know if her parents are actually busy. They're just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, how much do they care about Rory being gone, you know? <laughs> Okay. That's a 13. Um, she seems to be honest. Um, being royalty is hard work, and especially when you're leading a kingdom, you gotta think what's best for the people as a whole. So she's being mm. truthful in her statements. All right. Onward, I guess. <laughs> and she leads you into this large meeting room with a long table, very similar to the one in the dining room. Um, she 
sort of gestures for you all to sit down. I'll sit. What kind of chairs are they? <laughs> um, dark wooden chairs with gold filigree and high backs with Damn. four legs. So they're not the spinning chairs. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will just climb onto the chair and start kicking my feet. Okay. <laughs> cool I'm one. never going to be able to keep a straight face in this campaign. Did you expect to be able to? <laughs> Just for My goal one is minute. to break you. Done. <laughs> Already done. My goal is to break everybody at least once every episode. You did that in the first episode, but okay. Mm -hmm. Every episode. Every episode. Great. <laughs> um. Anyways, um, as you all sit down, she sits, um, across the table from you guys. Um. So, um, you were mentioning about going to find Rory. Um, was there anything else you guys had planned on? <laughs> Do we know where he may have went? Um, it's difficult to tell uh, that he pretty much from what I've heard, has vanished without a trace. Because um, he, he did go missing um, after I did. So I am not too sure. Uh, How well did you know him? Oh, very well. We were raised together. So we we're very familiar with each other. He was my best friend. Someone I could talk to when there was nobody else around. Yeah, um, it's kind of how advisors are. They're kind of a always there. I was gonna I was gonna kinda change the subject, so maybe you should go first. <laughs> okay. Do you know any place that he would maybe go that he would find safe if he were worried or threatened or scared for any reason? Well, um him and I would always uh, patrol, or sorry, that was the wrong word. Um, we would always uh, walk around the gardens together. Um, there was a small coffee shop, little cafe, if you will, that we liked to frequent. Um, we should check that out. And he would always accompany me for the uh, when we went to the library, but he never really stuck around during the story time. Did he and Dee get along? Um, from what I could tell. Does, does he was, like was Dee? <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're ending tonight. <laughs> you don't get an answer. <laughs> so you can call him Dorian. <laughs> we can. Well, the love of she calls, him, <laughs> she calls him D, so I called him D. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. 
I mean, it's okay if he didn't like D. You, you don't have to. I would call them acquaintances at best. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. He didn't like D. Poor <laughs> work. This is important information. We need to know this because maybe D sent him somewhere and is keeping that a secret from us and we gotta go fight D even though we just saved D from D because D was actually a doppelganger which also starts with D. I don't think <laughs> that we have to go fight D. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that D is a nickname, but please, you can call him Dorian. What had taken too much effort? It was easier to short it to D because of how many times I had to say it that time. But okay. Oh my god. Toby has the shortest tension span. Sometimes it's just easier for him when he rambles to shorten things and shorten I words. Ramble? Now you have very, very interesting points, Toby. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, did Dorian host story time? Uh, I mean, it was held at his establishment, but I was the one who had always read to the kids. So what did he do while you did that? Um, I'm assuming just business. Are we uh, talking about Dorian or Rory? Well, I oh. want to know where Rory went while you were doing story times. And yeah, maybe Dorian and Rory would, like, I don't know, maybe they were hanging out or conspiring or... Um, um, cleaning or something. I don't know. I just Rorian. I, I, I just want to know where Rory was when story time was happening. That's all. Um, from what I can remember, he would either go look at the books or sometimes him and Dorian would chat, but. They weren't as close as me and Rory or me and Dorian, but they would they would still like they weren't hostile towards each other, but I would barely call them friends. Um, even friends then somebody bends unexpectedly. I I apologize for the dog barking in the background. There was either a Can't firework or gunshot outside. I do not know. And I just heard oh, there it is. Dom singing. <laughs> He's singing along. Yeah. Hello, my backup. You said that there was a, a, a garden that you used to walk well, together? Just the... Just the royal gardens. We took a good look at those already, so I don't think we'll find anything new there. I think we should investigate the coffee shop. Try and find the last people who saw him, maybe? Oh, before we forget, Princess, um, we didn't really want to bother you when we first rescued you because of all the trauma and stuff. Um, but we are kind of wondering what you saw in there, um, because we, we kind of need your help and we would like to know if you saw anything weird or if you met anyone like a god or, 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 um, maybe someone that served a chaos god or something like that, um, a, a guy in really tattered armor or something, I, I 
sorry, so many questions all wrapped into one. Um, all, all Wither is trying to ask is if Hello. you are comfortable, or all Bloom is trying to ask is if you are comfortable, um, can you tell us uh, what your experience in the other realm was? I, I understand if you're still under too much stress. Well, I, I can certainly talk about it. It was just um, I, now that I've had like a, a day or two to sort of re regain my myself. Um, it was truly a bewildering experience. I was transported into a realm of darkness and horrifying creatures and I, I can't say that I ran into or experienced anything with a god but there was definitely a, a strong overwhelming presence just everywhere and as for the whole chaos god thing there, there are two gods that are known for uh, chaos um, there is Penuro, the one that was locked away in the dream realm, but then there is also Kanstos, who is definitely more of an active agent of chaos um, and uncertainty, but there were those doppelgangers everywhere with those strange, dark, uh, changeling-like creatures as well. It, I, I felt like I was in there for ages. Scared. Alone, but not alone. Did you ever leave your realm, or were you just trapped in there the whole time? I was trapped in there the entire time. I... It was definitely odd. It was just like the inverse of everything I had known. But I, I am truly thankful for all of you coming to help. I guess maybe we should check the coffee shop. I don't really know anything else that we could ask that might clue us into where Rory went. Because if you were trapped in your room the whole time, I don't know. Does Rory have a room here? Uh, yes. Yes, he does. Would we be allowed to look at it? Um, I, I, I don't see why not. There might be clues. Because if you were trapped in the inverse of your room, maybe he's trapped in the inverse of his. I mean, that is... Or maybe he left us a note. Who knows? Maybe there's a mirror in his room. Maybe. Maybe there's a, a, a receipt for a thing he purchased, or a ticket for a place he's going, or... Would uh, he take a ticket with him if he was going somewhere? Maybe. Oh. Listen, but I don't I agree. There, there, there might be some hint as to yeah. at least what direction to start in, um, so that we can get him back. We should at least check it out. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I can certainly lead you. As yeah. she gently gets up from the table, just sort of pats down her dress to straighten it out, and will lead you out of this yeah. meeting hall. Um, you remain on the first floor as you wander through semi-familiar halls 
um, with people passing by, uh, guards standing at attention as the princess walks by as she leads you down to a room with a very simple wooden door um, with Rory's name on a plaque on the outside of it. She opens the door and leads you all in as you can see a very small and simplistic room. Um, Just a simple like twin sized bed with some dark colored sheets and blankets. A desk that is uh, relatively clean. Um, You can see just like a simple uh, notebook, uh, some quills, and there is a window looking out into the gardens. Um, A very simple uh, wardrobe standing at the opposite end of the room. Um, Very ornately made with these engravings and sort of filigree that um, surrounds the edges of it. And then that seems to, and then just like a simple lantern on the night, on the nightstand. The room with the very Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, the desk sort of has just like this thin layer of dust across it as it hasn't been touched for probably a, just about a week now. Um. But it is very still and quiet in the room other than the sounds of people moving throughout the castle. Princess? Uh, yes? That's a very fancy wardrobe. Uh, yeah. For a very simple room. I did it to him as it was his birthday recently. (laughs) And he was running out of storage for his clothing so Uh do you mind if I look in it Uh, be my guest respectfully I will go through the wardrobe (laughs) proud of you (laughs) damn it Rima (laughs) um you open the two doors of the wardrobe and you can see just like very um like simplistic uh clothing a lot of like navy blue um coats um white shirts uh matching dark blue pants uh folded neatly in the drawers beneath where um the tops are hanging and (laughs) you find a shoe drawer that has a couple of pairs of the same shoes. Just simple like black Oxfords in a sense. Is the back of the wardrobe open? Are we going to Narnia? (laughs) You feel a cold breeze emitting from the wardrobe. (laughs) Full scent. (laughs) Um... I'm going to look, like, in the shoes, uh, under the clothes, in the drawers, um, on the backs of the doors, if there are doors. Um, just any hidden spots um, that something might be tucked away in. Yep, yeah, go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shit, I got a plus six to this. Um, 23. Damn! Nice! 
Okay. As Gotta you... roll good at least once, guys. Good one to roll good on. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Uh, you... you find nothing. There's nothing in there. Um... <laughs> you are searching uh, for any, like, hidden, like, openings or spots where something could be held but as you are going through one of the pants drawers you notice that the drawer has a false bottom I need to I'll open it or no <laughs> I'm gonna point it out to Talia and the others hey this drawer is, is... It looks like the drawer is deeper than the drawer is. What do you think? Um, I'm gonna look at Anessa and just confirm with her before I open this. Did you give it to him that way? I mean, I certainly didn't no. I, I I mean I had this piece commissioned, but do, do they also make mirrors? Uh, <laughs> um... But you didn't commission it with a secret compartment within. I no, I didn't, unless Unless, no, um, I mean, uh, why would I commission somebody to create a false compartment? Uh -huh. Everybody's got secrets. Uh, is this person located about two weeks away from here? Or a week, a week away, a week away. Round trip, two weeks. <laughs> and do they also make a mirrors? Away, a week away, and I just kind of like... In the jungle, the put my hand. Jungle. I just kind of like put my hand on like her arm. Like, I just wanted to check with you before I opened this compartment. I mean, that is definitely odd because it would be the same place that Dorian gets his items. I knew it! I mean, wow, that's really interesting. In my head, I'm going to communicate with Bloom. You are so right. Nailed it. Uh, I'm gonna check the release for traps. Okay. How much do we want to bet there's a mirror inside that I don't think it's gonna fit in the drawer, but um, maybe maybe a note or uh, a locket or uh, uh, a book or um, a guidance to Leah, <laughs> a magic item of some kind, or um, um, a polymorphed version of him into like a rat. Thirteen <laughs> plus guidance. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah. Uh, there does not appear to be any traps. Is it locked? No, it is not. Okay. Well. I don't like how you answered that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. My brain no work no good. Um. Yep. You. Uh, remove the pants from the drawer and lift up the <laughs> stop it <laughs> the false bottom and um, within it there is a small crystal ball um one second I have to look I just at... understood my John was laughing <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. 
Um, I'm an adult. This is not Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> There's a small crystal ball. Um, Talia, you would recognize one of these items as a forgery kit. And um, some sealed letters. That's suspicious. That's weird. It was him all along! Uh, and no. there is also yes. a small um, holy symbol at the bottom as well. Religion check! I was gonna say, yeah, can we look at that holy symbol? <laughs> uh, 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 a Bloom, can you help? Do you know what this is? Oh, I'm about to get it to myself. <laughs> Um, that's a 15. Okay. Let's go with Shira. 24 plus Jesus. 3 is 27. <laughs> yeah. Okay, give me one second. Gotta pull up some fucking notes. <laughs> oh boy, does she know. <laughs> I grew up in the most religious place. <laughs> yeah, and the problem is that probably isn't far off. Like, it's fine. Oh, whoa. <laughs> guys, I it's fine. I know my own lore. What do you mean not far off? Hello. No, like you were probably you were raised in the like probably most religious place on this guy uh -huh. world. So that's what I was getting at. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. I believe that. Um, you can see that the holy symbol is a symbol of Hanstos. <gasps> the king's god! Isn't that? It is. Oh. Oh? Well, that's, well, that's the holy symbol of Hanstos. Didn't you just mention that guy? Uh, Person? Yes, yes yeah. I did. Also, just for reference, and so the audience is aware, that Kanstos is the goddess of the future and chaos, and the twin of Sopera, who is the god of wisdom and the past. Oh, that's the temple I just set mm -hmm. fire to. Yeah. <laughs> It's not related at all. What is what is the name of the of that second god? Sopara. Sopara. So so sorry. I'm so sorry. I had to. Oh, words are hard. <laughs> I'll leave now. <laughs> I love you. Do you? Yeah. Insight. I'm kidding. <laughs> So wait, Canstos is the goddess of it was chaos and what? The future. The future. The future. And like uncertainty. How will I know if he's thinking <laughs> of me? Sorry. Can I take the holy symbol? <laughs> sure. Hey Anessa, um, did the person that commissioned that you commissioned this wardrobe from know that it was going to be given to Rory, or did he just think it was a gift for just anyone? I mean, I, I, I told him it was a gift for my advisor. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I do an Arcana check on the crystal ball? Yeah, go for it. I was going to say, I, I can cast Identify on that if you want. And we still have the letter that we found that had the power word for, is it, was it a Nessa's mirror? Yes. Yeah, I'd like to know if it looks like that letter. The handwriting. If, if it's addressed yeah. to certain people. I just want to check the handwriting. Yeah, that was only a nine. <laughs> um, It is hard to tell. If there's any <laughs> magic surrounding this item. Hey, Toby. Yeah. Aren't you able to figure out what 
certain items do. Oh yeah, I could do that. Can I just need like maybe figure out minutes. what this does. Give me like ten minutes and I'll I'll cast identify. And then uh, Shira and Bloom, you can uh, roll investigation checks on the handwriting. You can either both roll flat or one person roll with advantage. You're good at investigation, right? <laughs> Um, like you are. How how good are you at investigation? I'm like I'm like decent. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm very wise. Would you like to roll with advantage and guidance? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> One of them's a nat twenty. Let's go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just like the handwriting that matches. And that's his ah! note. Yes. <laughs> um. He listen. He ran. <laughs> I'm I'm casting identify on the crystal ball. Okay. Um. It just seems to be a simple scrying. Um. Like an arcane focus. Yeah, this isn't really a thing. It, it's it's just something you use to channel your magic into, so that like you don't need components or whatever, because sometimes you know you got spells that need components. Like I got this stick that took me forever to find, where you had to in order to cast Witch Bolt, you have to find a stick from a tree that's been struck by lightning, which you would think happens a lot, but it doesn't. It took me forever to find this stick. Anyway, <laughs> this this crystal ball makes it so that you don't need to find any sticks or anything like that. You could just cast spells through it, unless it's like a really expensive thing. Then you still need it. But like most of the time, you could just cast through the crystal ball. Interesting. Next time, you should just give Shashir a coffee, and then maybe you could find a stick with some lightning. <laughs> anyway, um. <laughs> I love that. We can um I already have so this stick. isn't this isn't as it, it's not like a mirror, so No, but like you could you could use it to like see if you if you cast like scry, you could you could see <laughs> the thing in the ball and then like if he's got the forgery kit, he could then copy stuff this next to him like onto the paper next to him while looking at something else so he could see like important documents or handwriting from somewhere else and he could just and then make it on on the side so that yeah oh i have really important information that i just realized these are the same handwriting as all the letters so maybe maybe rory wasn't tricked into going into a mirror. Maybe, uh, Rory, uh, sorry, princess. Maybe Rory was actually responsible for tricking people into going into the mirrors. And on a nat 20, do I see who the letters were addressed to? Um, you would absolutely, um, you can recognize these as, um, Names of other royal figures that are in different locations. Mm. And I'm willing to bet this is a conspiracy that goes past this castle. I I think I think this is a, a political agenda. Did I use that right? Yeah, actually, pretty close. <laughs> how, how do you know the political agenda? <laughs> I just feel like I read it a lot in books where things like this happen. Um, and then, um, Bloom, also on that natural 20, I will say that you also notice, um, a, another small religious symbol that was, like, hidden a little further away <laughs> like hidden within the mess that Toby found 
different from the one that you can i do an, another religion check to hopefully do it correctly this time yes but i will say this one will be at disadvantage just because this is not as popular or not as common of a religious symbol that you would have seen. All right, I got I got my I'm I'm proficient, so hopefully that that plus two. You still have guidance I, too, right? Uh, it's a one off, but I'll tap her again. Guidance doesn't yeah, last for a certain amount of time. Well, a minute or until used. Yeah, it's a minute or until used. On... So if, yeah. I can just retap you again. I need to relearn clerics. Well, um, Ashira cast it on herself after she cast it on me, so even though I didn't use it last time, I think no, you, you were used after it me. since I did, right? No. Oh, I was. Okay. Either way, I will allow then. Guidance to be cast again. Thank you. Guidance. <laughs> guidance. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, a 10 plus a d4. Two. That's a twelve. I rolled a three, so that's that's kind of a, impressive that we got up to that. But yeah, uh, you have so not a twelve. Seen, you have not seen this religious symbol before, or read about it. Well, I found this random hunk of junk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Catches it. <laughs> Can I roll religion? <laughs> <laughs> just gonna keep rolling until someone gets it. Hey, you got two religious people. <laughs> you got two religious people in different ways. Go for it. Disadvantage. Jirawu pops back up and is just like, "Can I roll?" <laughs> Disadvantage as well, Cece. Um, I believe yours would just be a flat roll. Flat roll. What? <laughs> Guidance. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I can't do anything. I just can't. It's a 19 plus okay. 4 is 23. Plus guidance. That was my guidance. Uh, oh, so what's your. 27. There's no you mystery still to this game at all. Uh, don't know who this god is. <laughs> That'd be great. So is it DC 30? Yeah. Uh, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it uh, is related to the other god that Anessa had mentioned. No! <laughs> this is Panero's symbol? Yep. I think she just like drops it. <laughs> Double dipping, huh? Just both <laughs> chaos gods. Just... Double whammy. Why not? Why not throw in a little bit of Panera in there too? Um, that's. Does he make bread? Stop! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> that's Panera's symbol. So, Pinero <laughs> and Kenstos are both gods of chaos. chaos. He's got holy symbols for both. And. Kazunte. Bless you. Guidance. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. That's bless. <laughs> that's not guidance. That's bless. We throw that guidance in uh, just as often as bless it usually is in this campaign, though. I feel like it counts. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to go off on a limb and say that Rory is either a double flubby or evil. But technically, that's evil either way. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I wouldn't either if my best friend were evil. 
Like you were raised with him your entire life and you think you know someone and you really don't. And that must suck a lot. I have oranges. Well, Would you like one? It made me feel a lot better. Oh no. Persuasion. <laughs> you charisma ass. Bill. <laughs> No, that was a six. Uh, I'm I'm retiring these dice. Mm -hmm. Two as, threes as in a row. Be. I really don't have much of an appetite now. That's understandable, given that your best friend is evil. Evil is relative. It's not... Chaos is not necessarily evil. Yeah, look at Bloom. <laughs> look at Toby. Oh, she's chaotic. Oh, I'm sorry. We're... Bloom is the opposite of evil, even though she's kind of chaotic. So I thought it was relevant to the conversation. Excuse it's me for bringing it up. No, it's very relevant to the conversation. Absolutely. Chaos doesn't always mean that you're a bad person. It just means that you do things solely for you and the people that you care the most about. Or just for Regardless. the troubles. Regardless of what the laws are. <laughs> hey, maybe you just wanted a giggle. I don't think writing the letters that were attached to the mirrors is someone just wanting a giggle. But to Bloom's point, was he different at all in the time leading up to you receiving that mirror with the note? Did you, did you change at all before you disappeared? Because maybe it, it wasn't him. There's always that chance. I, I mean, he was obviously very upset when he uh, learned about the wedding between Adam and I. What do you mean, obviously? Uh, he certainly is the one that was good at hiding his emotions. What emotions? Anger? Right, why was he angry? Yeah, because why was he angry? Sometimes people don't always marry the people that they want to. Or... Maybe they're supposed to marry their the advisors? One getting married. Oh. I'm... We're all just staring at Anessa now. <laughs> Anessa is just sort of nervously like she is, she is very like tense in the moment. Um Oh, oh I think we found it. I think someone fell in love with Rory. And then and Rory sitting in a no, tree. No, bloom, bloom, bloom. bloom, bloom. Maybe Sorry. we don't want to upset her more than she already Sorry. is. Sorry. I mean, he's he's definitely had feelings for me since we were younger. Um, and I guess any feelings that I had have developed more recently. But why, why would he do this? Sometimes you do silly things um, for when, when you're upset. But that, that definitely doesn't explain why he would want to send letters to other kingdoms, though. Mm -hmm. And you know, maybe he was just doing what his gods told him to do. If if he um, 
if he has these holy symbols, maybe they told him to do it. But then that doesn't explain why he went missing before he sent out those other letters. Wouldn't he have wanted to, if he ran away or something, wouldn't he want to finish mailing the letters or something? Can I see those letters? I'll hand them over. Can I do a history check and know if I know what kingdoms they came from? Um, I will say you'll, they were definitely letters that were being planned to be sent out. Um, just sort of the, um, oh God, I can't use words. Um, just like the overarching kingdoms of, um, there's, there, well, obviously the, letter that was meant for Holden was received by Anessa. Um, there is one listed for um, Aramore. There is... There was four letters total. And then there was also one that was planning on being sent to Wimborne, which is... Uh, in the northeastern part of Gillimore and one for um, Barnsley, uh, yeah, Barnsley in Shadowfen. Is there anything that these kingdoms may have in common, Nessa, that would cause anybody to want to either put them in conflict with each other or take them out completely. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm not too involved on most of the politics in the realm, but I am currently being slowly informed by it by my parents but I just this might be something maybe to bring up to your parents and like show them that there might be a threat in other or a planned threat for other uh, kingdoms The one thing that is bugging my mind is that this, the creator of this went behind my back to make this compartment. And it's the fact that it's the same shop that Dorian recommended and gets his stuff from. I think we might not want to trust Dorian for the time being, just for now. Um, and we should maybe find out if that person that owns that shop um, is available. Because I'm not necessarily convinced that Rory ran away. I think, I think, because these are all very valuable possessions that if I were running away, I would want to have with me. Of course. So, I, I still feel like something's wrong. Whatever it is, I'm sure you all will get to the bottom of it. And that is where we are going to call it for this evening. Um, Told you we got a beat up D. I am regretting every life decision <laughs> that led me to naming him Dorian. Oh no! 25 other letters, all would have been fine. <laughs> You know what letters I'm picking right now? F <laughs> and U. Um, but I want to say thank you to all of our wonderful viewers tonight. We greatly appreciate you stopping in and joining us on this adventure. Um, next week, we have Goodberry Cafe on Monday. And um, I don't believe there's spell shots next week. 
So we just have Boop. Goodberry Cafe next week, and then the week after we will be returning with um, Forging Fates, um, Spell Shots, and QPD. But if you want to stay updated on all of these dates and keep in touch for when the shows are going to be occurring, make sure to join our Discord and follow us on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. And again, thank you all for watching. We will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.